Good day, viewers. This is another time of Bible study. An awesome privilege we do always have to continue to learn and grow at the feet of Jesus. We'll continue our discussion of family and covenant with the living God, which is our sub theme for some time now. And then we'll be looking specifically at the topic that says concept of a godly family under the general theme for the year, which is covenant with the living God. And today is Trinity Sunday. Remember last week was Pentecost, last Sunday was Pentecost Sunday. And God has helped us thus far. Today is Trinity Sunday. We are trusting that God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit will help us together as we study his word in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Our aims will be to define a godly family in a plural world. Two, to differentiate between family and godly family. And then three, to identify the duties of members in a godly family. I have with me in the studio our resource persons, Bible study teachers, whom we are trusting God that God will use them to mightily expound his word to our hearts. By my right is bro Robert Ugo. He is a Bible study teacher. Anglican Church of the Resurrection, the boy here in Abuja Diocese, as well as the Vicar Swarden. <laughs> You're welcome to the program. Thank sir. you, sir. Yeah. Welcome, viewers. We trust that the Lord will bless us through His Word. Amen. Amen. And then by my left is Bro Goodwill Obuefi, a Bible study teacher, St. James Anglican Church at Sokoro, here in Abuja Diocese. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you for having me here. And then I'm your host, Ejekam Chukwebuka. Let's quickly get into the business of the day. Bro, go. You help us take one of our background texts, Ephesians chapter 5, 21 to 33, quickly. And I'll read chapter 6 of Ephesians 6 to 9, as we hope, trust God to help us build the study. I encourage you to invite everybody around. Make sure nobody under your household is missing today's session. Ephesians chapter 5, sir. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth his body himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined to his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife, even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to, to God. God. Let me quickly take chapter 6 of same Ephesians and I'll read from verse 1 to 9. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. And you, fathers, do not provoke your children to rot. But bring them up in the training and admonition of the Lord. Mm. Born servants, be obedient to those who are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in sincerity of heart as to Christ, not with eye service as men pleasers, 
but as born servant of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same from the Lord, whether he is a slave or free. And you, masters, do the same thing to them, giving up threatening, knowing that your own master also is in heaven, and there is no partiality with him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be be to God. God. Our introduction. Human society is a reflection of the family. Godly families produce a godly society where peace and tranquility reign. Why morally decadent families produce a corrupt and immoral society? It is clear that God's purpose for families is such that every family member has responsibilities, duties and roles to perform so as to produce peaceful societies. Apostle Paul has stated this in today's text, that is in the book of Ephesians chapters 5 and 6. How can this be carried out in order to fulfill the purpose of God for humanity? You know, the family is so integral in God's agenda for humankind. We cannot downplay that. When God started the work of creation, he started with the first family, the family of Adam. And God's intent is that we will express his dominion mandate on the face of the earth. And so we are trusting God that he will give us the understanding in this study today so that we can appreciate how we can fulfill God's original purpose for the human family. We're getting straight into our discussion guide. And I'd like to start with you, our brother, brother Rebels. Yes, sir. There are no scripture references, mm -hmm. but I'd like you, as you respond, to put it in the context of our text and maybe other relevant scriptures that you have. Mm -hmm. How can you explain a godly family? And what is the purpose of God for every family? Mm. So from um, what we know from the scripture, we know that God is the one that started the family, yes, as sir. our brother has said. And uh, if you are looking at a godly family, uh, you're looking at that family where God is the head of that family. Mm. You are looking at the family that is built, that is being built on the principles of the word of God. Yes, sir. Where the man, as the head of the family, has submitted himself to the rulership of God. Yes, sir. So even though he is the head in the family, he has the head over, over his, his own life. life. Awesome. Yes, and he is always referring to that head. He is not organizing the family based on his own principles, mm. but it's based on the principles of the word, word of, of God. God. So God reigns and rules in that family. And that's a godly family. That's a godly family. Now the purpose for every family is what you have already said in Genesis chapter 1. God said, let us make man in our own image mm. and after our own likeness. And say, let them have dominion uh, over the fishes and all of that. Mm. Yes, replenish sir. the earth and all of that. Mm. And then he go by and say, God bless them and said, be fruitful, fruitful multiply. and multiply. Mm. So the purpose of God concerning marriage is to raise his image, mm. his mm. images. Mm. You, know, you understand that? Little gods. Yes, little gods. Jesus is he here wants to there. build them up mm. from the family. Mm. So the family is like God's factory mm. that he's using to make his mm. images that will now move and rule over the world, mm. domin have dominion over the world, and make sure that the kingdom of God reigns on okay. earth. Awesome. So that is God's purpose for raising. So when family. we are praying, your kingdom come, yes. that will be done on earth, yes. God will establish this yes. through, through the family. family. And that's why family is very important to God. And that's why devil keep attacking the family. Mm. Because he knows that's where God has proposed mm. to bring about his sons and his mm. daughters. Mm. The church is very important, but the beginning of the work, where it starts, is in the, in the family. family. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. You know, for someone out there, I think it will help to her. It will help for us to understand, bro, goodwill, what concepts are. You know, we are talking of concepts of a godly family. Concepts. I think maybe for some of us, our bias maybe because we are coming from an mm. academic environment, yeah. it's good for us to um, let's understand what, what are concepts, mm. so mm. that we can tie it 
together to this discussion. Yes, our brother has actually laid a good foundation. Concepts generally are an idea, the original plan for mm -hmm. a thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So when you look at family, you say, what is the original idea of a family? Yes, sir. And families are like building blocks mm. in a house. I love the word you use, mm. factory, God's mm. factory. Yeah. You know, yes. Building blocks. Yes. You know, when you're mm. building, when you start building a house, you lay the first block, exactly. and from there you build multiple More blocks. blocks. Exactly. A network Layers of, of blocks. families mm. build God's house. Wow. So mm. generally speaking, what is mm. the concept of a Christian family? Mm a microcosm of local government, mm. God's kind of mm. local governments mm. in different planets. Mm. You know, on mm. Earth, we're in the planet Earth, mm. God has put us there. Yeah. Mm. Families mm. are like small mm. dominions, mm. small domains mm. where a father and the mother mm. can exert God's influence. influence. Yes. Wow. They become, they take mm. up ambassadorial roles. Mm. They begin to represent God. They become mm. emissaries of peace. Mm. Yes, sir. People who propagate. Mm. The Bible said mm. in Genesis that mm. Moses, um, mm. that Abraham mm. was a righteous man. Mm. And when God thought it necessary mm. to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, he mm. paid, first paid him a visit. A visit. Mm. Because he was God's representative mm. in that region. Oh, wow. mm. To ask him out. Wow. To say, what do you think about, this? about what Something. I'm intending to do? And Abraham began a, mm. a long discussion because at that level, mm. he's like a local government chairman. Mm. Mm. He's like God's re representative mm. at the primary at the level. level. When you talk mm. about governance, you mm. say local government. Yes. You talk about state, state government. Mm. You go to federal. federal. God mm. is the presidential mm. head. Awesome. But the family is the baseline mm. of God's development. Mm. It is from God's, it from, it's from the base mm. of the family that God's root mm. is entrenched in mm. all the planets mm. where awesome. humans are found. Mm. Awesome. You know, I'm excited mm. when our brother painted mm. the picture <laughs> of God's mm. engaging with Abraham yeah. concerning yes. what he was about to, to do, do in the land of Sodom. Yes. And I'm asking God, could it be that mm. in our different families, yes. When a matter is about to come up, mm. that God will decide to confer mm. with a man. Mm. You know, Abraham in engaging God at a point mm. asked God, he says, shall the God of all the earth not do right? Mm. If one man is found, if 20, he began to go down from yeah. the numbers. Yeah. And he said, if five men are found, mm. and what was the secret? Mm. Abraham was a man mm. rooted in righteousness. Mm. Look at verse 19 of Genesis chapter 18. Mm. This is God speaking. God said, for I have known him. Yes. In order that he may, may command his children and his household after him, mm. that they keep the way of the Lord, mm. to do righteousness and justice, mm. that the Lord may bring to Abraham what he has spoken to him. Mm. For I have known him. Mm. Has God known you? Mm. That is the challenge. Mm. And I look at that question. He said, the purpose of God for every family. Mm. It implies that for every mm. family there is a purpose yes. why you establish. Exactly. We need to walk in line with the Holy Spirit mm. to discover that purpose. Mm. It's beyond just, ah, family, we are raising children. Mm. There is a spiritual dimension to your purpose. Yeah. We need to discover yeah. it. So, is that, you know, what you said now is very important because um, what our brother raised about Abraham, God confining Abraham, mm -hmm. and that is why it's necessary that every man needs to be connected to God. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Because if a man in the family is not connected to God, mm -hmm. the message that God has for that family may be missing. Ah, something Jesus. happening to the wife that God wants to pass on, say, handle this, or how do happening to the Jesus, children, God Jesus, say, handle Jesus. this. Jesus. If the man is not maintaining a walk with God, Jesus. he will miss out. And not only that you miss out, the family will miss out. Yeah. And all people around him, they will miss out. But Abraham Jesus. was rightly positioned mm. in where your brother mentioned, mm. and that's why Lot had to be protected. Yes. Because hmm. he was yes, rightly positioned. You know, awesome. Mm. You know, mm. my brother, you raised mm. the matter and my yes. spirit, I mean, yes. I, I hope someone will not begin to preach a message <laughs> on this Bible story. <laughs> but mm. in, if you look at that Genesis 18, mm. yes. you talked about the fact that every man needs to be connected. Yes. God may have a message even for your wife. Exactly. You know, it was in that visit in Genesis mm. 18 yes. that the pronouncement came that exactly. Sarah exactly. will wow. conceive. Yes. Why? Abraham was a man mm. who stood mm. at the gate. Mm. Bible said he was under the terebin tree mm. of Manre. Mm. As he was sitting at the tent door, mm. 
men sit at the tent door. Mm. In the heat of the day, mm. perhaps when it was not convenient, he looked and saw, mm. and God visited. Mm. The point our brother is raising is critical. Mm. You must be a man who is standing mm. at the gate of your house. Can I chip mm. it something? Mm. Yes, sir. You see, when you say a man who is connected by God, mm. the ordinary man is mm. confused. Mm. He thinks he's Billy Graham. Or you're talking about mm. St. Paul the Apostle. Yes. What does it mean to be connected mm. to God? Mm. It just means to desire God, mm. to yes, desire sir. His will. More of Him. And then take mm. meaningful steps day by day mm. to involve Him in all your decisions. Wow. That's it. The moment you simplify your connection with God, God, it doesn't look like it's mm. Thomas Aquinas mm. or, or the Or the primate. Or the primate. Or, 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 or Billy Graham or Brown Wille. Yeah. It now comes down to your level. Yes. Yeah. You're about to go into to uh, the office. Did yes, you engage, you engage God? God in it? <laughs> you are about to travel. Did you talk to God about, about it? it. <laughs> David said, Bible says, mm. David, whenever he's about to go make a key decision, yes. he will inquire, inquire of, God. of God. And if you check, the only place David mm. struggled in his life, which was mm. his, his marital life, he mm. never inquired of the Lord. Mm, about that. As to which wife he should, should pick. pick. But mm. every part of When he went is, into battles, I discovered mm. that. For every mm. battle, you say, shall mm. I go? Shall mm. I pursue? Yes. And God will give him specific instructions. Ah, awesome. so, so because he inquired mm. the Lord, he became mm. a good reader, mm. a leader we look up to till today. Mm. And when mm -hmm. we say David didn't get it right, he didn't inquire of the Lord. Mm. So when you say to be connected with God mm. means to ask God's opinion. Mm. Hmm. What's God's idea? Uh -huh. mm. You know, yes. how do I handle this in the mm. office? How mm. do I handle this mm. issue in my house? Mm. Yes. This illness or mm. this awesome. tragedy? Mm. Or God, this God, is, God is illuminating mm. our hearts by reason of mm. this exposition. Mm. And then Practical, in practical terms, mm. inquiring of mm. God. The word of God is there. Mm. Ask him to know his mind so that you can be able to discern what God is saying part time. Mm. As you're stepping out today, mm. this morning, this afternoon, mm. this evening, wherever you may be going, mm. ask God, what would you have me do? Mm. Question two. Mention the components of a Christian family and their duties. Bro Goodwill, mm. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23, and then verse 25, quickly. And okay. then Bro Goodwill, 6, 1 to 4. Ephesians 5, 22, 23, and then 25. Wives, submit yourself unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is the savior of the body. Verse 25. Husbands, love your, your wives. Wife. Even as Christ also loved the church, church. and gave himself for it. Hmm. Brogo, chapter yeah. 6, 1 to 4, quickly. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. Mm. that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. So let's mention the components of a Christian family and their duties. So the when break. you say components of a car, you say mm -hmm. the tire, mm -hmm. the steering. Mm -hmm. Components of a Christian family. You say the father. Mm. You talk about the mother. Mm. You talk about children. Mm. You talk about servants. Mm. You also talk about cousins that also live together. Mm. You also talk about Almighty God. Mm. <laughs> All these parts. God is in the in the picture. <laughs> in the picture. Of the family. <laughs> All this. For it to be a godly family. family. Yeah. <laughs> Forms. God. Mm. And then you find out that a, a godly family has an altar, mm. a place where every decision is made between God and the humans who are part of that family. Awesome. It is that altar that renews a godly family because that's where the principles stand. As families wake up in the morning to pray, mm -hmm. or at night they make decisions, or they go for weddings, or they go for burials, all the decisions they take, they take it in the altar, altar. in the family altar. Awesome. The family altar, simply put, is a place where you commune with God, mm -hmm. where you reach a decision with Him, mm -hmm. where you inquire of Him. The altar is also part of the component. 
do Office. this time around inanimate, inanimate. but also living <laughs> you know and what's an altar and you know like you said you commune is a place of communion yeah. perhaps between the celestial and the terrestrial yeah. where humanity connects to divinity mm. and it becomes clear to you what god will have you do that mm. time mm. brogo yes, just a word as we try to uh, get to break uh, you know he the part of the question is to mention the duties for each of these components okay quickly quickly yeah quickly. so we see that the wife the bible says submit and for the husband the bible say love, love. And for the children, the Bible obey, says, obey, obey your parents. You know, <laughs> he made this one, 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 and mm. simple, simple, simple. Now, but when you begin to look into this, you know that there are critical issues mm. for the family. Yeah. I don't know how much time we, we have. Uh, it's good to point out that except a man, a woman has first of all submitted to the Holy Spirit, mm. she will not be able she to She will struggle to submit to, yes, to husband. And, and accept a man to learn to love, love God, God sincerely. If they accept the love of God has been shared abroad in his heart, he will also not be able to He will love. struggle. Yeah. He will struggle with uh, love. So Loving if we world. have time, we can still also talk, look, about, talk about these duties mm -hmm. if we have. You know, awesome. Time. I, one of the things I see mm -hmm. is that the writer of this episode mm -hmm. takes time to itemize the key areas yes. where each component mm. has a role. Mm. When, he, when, when he says submit wives, mm. submission is a key area mm. for a wife. For a wife. Mm. But also a wife is responsible to love. Yes. Mm. A, 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 a husband is also, is, is yes, also, re, also, responsible, also responsible to submit. To submit. Mutual submission, yeah. Yeah, you know? But he talks about areas that are problematic, mm. areas where the duties are difficult to practice. Mm. How do you get a wife mm. to submit? Mm. It's a key area in marriage. Mm. How do you get a man to, to truly love, love his mm. family? Mm. It's also a very key area. Mm. How do you get children mm. to follow the instructions of, of, their, their, parents. of their parents? Mm. It's a key area. Mm. But sometimes you see that these functions, in understanding the duties, you understand mm. how effective a family can operate. Mm. Because in understanding what submission truly means, mm you really understand why it keeps the family together. together. Mm. If you understand what love truly means, mm. you also see why a family is rooted in love. Mm. Awesome. You know, and these are mm. some of the duties that sometimes the 21st mm. century puts pressure on oh, us no, not to observe. Exactly. Because we're constantly mm. walking from office, mm. busy throughout our mm. lives, that sometimes mm. we, we, lose, are choked. we mm. lose Mm. focus of what is the true essence mm. of a Christian family. Mm. Awesome. Mm. You know, God is raising matters and I'm sure God is healing homes. Mm. And if you open up yourself to him, God can visit you via today's session mm. so that together we can build stronger families. Godly families where Jesus reigns supreme. We'll be back in a moment to continue. God bless you. There are standards in life, mm -hmm. but the beauty of it is that we have the highest standard. Lord, we decree Thank upon you. this nation, we decree peace upon Nigeria. Receive illumination Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray every negative prophecy concerning your life is cancelled. Amen. Lord, we ask, O oh God, for your healing. Cancer, we speak to you. Bow in the name of Jesus. Every siege, whatever battle, sicknesses and diseases, we pack and go in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever that battle that comes your way this year, I pray you will dominate. Amen. I pray for you today. That situation will turn around for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Showing every Thursdays at 6 p.m. West African time. Welcome back, child of God. We've been looking at concepts of a godly family. How do you look at a family and say this family is a godly family? 
are there models? These are the things that the Holy Spirit has been helping us thus far to consider in this Bible study session today. And I'm being in the studio with our resource persons, seasoned Bible study teachers, whom God is using to bring his mind our way. Bro Ugo, you're welcome once again. Thank you, sir. And then Bro Goodwill, thank you and welcome once again. We'll jump straight to study guide question three. But before then, let me read the question first. Before then, I would like you to still chip in a few things on these duties yes. of each component of a Christian family because that was where the Holy Spirit released us yes. for us to go to break. Yes. With the obvious decadence in today's world, how can a family train their children in a godly way? Yes. Proverbs 22, 6, Ephesians 6, 4, and then 2 Timothy 3, 15. Before we get into reading those scriptures, let's still... Say a few more things on the duties of each of these family components. Yes, we need to pay critical attention to these duties. Yes, sir. Because this is what the Word of God has said. This is have to, what has to happen in a godly family. Yes, sir. And that's what makes godly family to work. Yes, sir. The, the philosophies of this time may not support, support mm. it. But if you want your family to work, you just have to pay attention to these duties. Yes, sir. And when God said, wives, submit, my sister, you need to know that it is for your own good yes, sir. to submit. God is not against you by asking you to submit. But what God is saying that your husband is your head. And when there is issue in your family, is your husband that God is going to hold responsible. Yes, sir. So your own duty is to advise him, to guide him, and you have done what you are supposed to do. If he tests it, that is good for the whole family because you may be asking yourself, what if he make mistake? What if there is danger? Mm. Know that when you have done your own duty, the next thing you do is to pray. And if he makes mistake, let him make mistake. He will correct himself. And learn from the he mistake will learn as from well, it. yeah. He will hit his head on the wall and come back and learn from it. But if you are struggling with him and you are not allowing him, you people will not make progress. Yes, sir. The family will not move because you are drawing. He is pulling you this way. You, you are, are pulling him this way. It's better you go in one direction. And that is where the man has concluded we are going here. If there is mistake along the way, both of you will learn and come back. Yes, sir. And that is the wisdom of God. And when God says love for the husband, the love we are talking about is not feeling. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, if you read from verse for what first thing the Bible says there is that love is patient. Yes, sir. And what he's saying, husband, you need to be patient <laughs> with, your, with your wife. You know, in Peter, he said, dwelling <laughs> with them with understanding. With understanding. After the weekend, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so he said, you need to be patient with your wife. When there's misbehavior, if you are not patient, you are going to scatter things. Mm. And Bible says, be kind. That's the next thing. He said, love is kind. If you check all those things, you discover that is what we need to pray into our lives as husbands. To deal with our wives according to how Bible has described yes, sir. love. Absolutely. And as we do that, we see that the family will be moving Absolutely. forward. Awesome. awesome. Absolutely. Let's get now to read some of these scriptures. Yes. Bro Goodwill, 2 Timothy 3.15. Bro Go, Ephesians 6.4. As we look at the obvious decadence in today's world, how mm. can we now train our families to walk in the line? Of what the scripture is telling us today. Of course, Proverbs 22 6, very popular, familiar scripture we all learned in Sunday school. Mm -hmm. Train up a child in the way he should go, mm -hmm. and when he's holy, he will never depart from it. Let's take Ephesians and 2 Timothy. Okay. So, 2 Timothy 2 3 15. The 3 15. And that from a child thou hast mm -hmm. known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation mm. true faith mm. which is in Christ Jesus, Jesus. Mm. Ephesians 6 4. 6 4 and ye fathers provoke not your children to wrath but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of, of the Lord so with the obvious decadence it's obvious we are seeing it is yes. apparent you don't need to go far yes. how can we train up our children yeah. in a godly way. It's okay. It's just to do what the scripture has said we should do. In Timothy, where our brother read, Bible said that Timothy from a child knew the scripture. Mm. 
and you will know that a child wouldn't have known the scripture by himself. Mm. It means he was taught. Yes, sir. His mother taught him. His, his grandmother, grandmother taught him. Lois and the, Eunice. Yes, yeah, they taught him. So that is what we see here that for our children to be saved from the time we are in, uh, we will need to teach them. Mm. And what do we teach them? The word of, of God. God. We must take it as a primary assignment. Mm. We must see our children as our first disciples mm. that we need to raise for Jesus because God is looking for godly seed. And the same thing we see in um, Ephesians chapter 6 that we shouldn't provoke them, we shouldn't uh, do, uh, put uh, uh, pressure. Uh, pressure on undue, the children. Undue pressure. Yes, rather we should nurture them, we should counsel them. We should speak the word of God. And what I have discovered that, is, that works is what Jesus said. Jesus said, for their sake, I sanctify myself, myself so that they, they too can they be, be satisfied. satisfied. So the father should take up this duty first of all. And what he needs to do is to nurture his, his own, own life, life by the word of God and make sure he's changing. If the children are observing that their father is growing, is changing, there's a character, negative character they are seeing in the life of their father and is changing, they also will make effort to change. My children used to play with me. I used to tell them that I don't do things fast, fast. And they would say, Daddy, do, it, do things fast, fast. Do it fast, fast. <laughs> <laughs> and me, I'm learning how to do fast, <laughs> fast, fast. fast. <laughs> so, so when the father is changing, the wife will want to follow to change mm. and the children also be following awesome. in that Awesome, awesome. Uh, this is example. awesome. This is indeed a blessing. Yes. Thank God for raising these yeah. matters. Yeah. And I know it's pretty difficult in our time because our children are exposed to diverse influences, yes. unholy influences. Yes. But it is still possible. Yes, it is still possible. Mm. God can help a man mm. who desires more of him every day of his life. Mm. Bro, goodwill, with reference to Elkanah's family, Identify the benefits and importance of godly home to society at large. You will help us with First Samuel chapter two, seventeen to twenty, and Brogo, Proverbs fifteen twenty. Wherefore the sin of the young men were great before the Lord, for men abhorred the offering of the Lord. Mm. But Samuel ministered before the Lord, mm. being a child, mm. guided with a linen effort. Mm. Moreover, his mother made him a little coat. Mm and brought it to him from year to year. Mm. When she came up with her husband to offer the yearly sacrifice, mm. and Eli blessed Elkanah and his wife and said, the Lord give thee seed of this woman mm. for the loan which is lent to the Lord. Mm. And they went unto their home. Mm. And then, uh, Proverbs fifteen twenty, Brogo. A wise son maketh a glad father but a foolish man despised his mother. Mm. Mm. So with reference to a Kana's family, identify the benefits and importance of a godly home to the society at large. Interestingly, the benefits yes, sir. of a godly home. You produce champions. Yes, sir. You produce peace setters. Yes, sir. Trailblazers. Yes, People sir. who set the path for that's to find Pathfinders. You see, Samuel came mm. in at a time when Israel had lost his way mm. through the days of the judges. Mm. And then even came in in the days when he, uh, Israel was searching for a new meaning. Mm. Whether to have kings mm. or whether they should remain mm. governed by God. Mm. And Samuel helped set Israel on the right path mm. because he had a praying mother. Mm who through trials had stood mm. firm mm. and bettered him mm. in the place of intercession. Mm. Yes, sir. You look at Nigeria, mm. part of the reasons why we struggle is mm. there are certain level of intercession that at the family level mm. can raise leaders that can wake up one day and take a decision on the security issue of Nigeria. Yes, sir. Mm. You know, Mikhail Gorbachev, the man who led to the fall of the Soviet Union, mm. had been in the Soviet Union for more than 30 years, mm. but had been raised by a grandmother who was interceding and mm. praying mm. that the Soviet Union would go back to the days when Russia mm. had worked with God. Mm. 
when he came to the time when he was to become the head of the party, mm. he began to take decisions. Even mm. though he wasn't so religious, he began mm. to take decisions that were in line with what it's his grandmother prayer. had prayed prayer maybe 50, 60 that. years ago. Mm. Mm. You yeah. talk about uh, the American president mm. who was president and yet had missed his way, mm. you know, um, uh, before the Yom Kippur War in 1973, the war mm. that would have destroyed Israel. When mm. the five Arab nations attacked mm. Israel on the Sabbath day simultaneously mm. and they were to be wiped out. Mm. And this man wa was being impeached. I, mm. I don't recall that his name, mm. you know, and he was under pressure to resign mm. as a Republican president. Mm. and. Goldmeyer, the mm. first female prime minister of Israel, mm. called him and said, Mr. President, mm. Israel needs your help at this time. Mm. And while he was still worried about he was going to be mm. impeached in the mm. coming few days mm. of weeks, mm. he said, when I was a child, my mm. mother taught me the stories of Israel, mm. who told me of how Israel mm. was a great country, mm. and how Israel was part of God's plan mm. to save humanity. Mm. He says, even though mm. my days are numbered as mm. president, mm. My mother told me when I was a child mm. that one day mm. in the position I will occupy, mm. I will be asked by God mm. to make the decision that will save Israel. Mm. So he asked Godmire, mm. what do you need? Mm. So he sent him all the tanks. Within 24 mm. hours, 48 hours, tanks, mm. weaponry to protect mm. Israel against the six mm. or five Arab nations mm. was taken. Mm. Because a mother, mm. at a key moment, mm in the life of a of president who even mm. had backslidden, who had mm. made mistakes as a mm. president, mm. had prayed for that child when mm. the child was young mm. and programmed that mm. child for that assignment. Mm. So when you talk about what are the benefits mm. of what you can see a godly mm. family, is that you're programming leaders mm. who will solve world problems. Mm. And the, the, the benefits are endless. Mm. It doesn't take, it just takes one mm. ingen ingenious general mm. to wipe out Boko mm. Haram. Mm. It takes one ingenious mm. child mm. to transform Nigeria as one mm. of the most prosperous Af mm. black African country in Nigeria. Mm. It just takes that mother mm. who is watching us this mm. morning, who is going to be praying for that her child, mm. who she sees potentials mm. to transform the Nigeria mm. in the next 20, 30 years. Mm. And she begins to do like Hannah mm. and begins to pray and mm. program a new president. Mm. Give it 10, 15 years, mm. you're talking about an African country mm. that's whose stories of backwardness mm. will be a stories of the past. Mm. So the benefits mm. are endless. Mm. You can determine the future of a country, mm. a continent, mm. just by the stories mm. of Elkanah. Mm. And that was why when Samuel had delivered Israel, mm. even when they had been backslidden mm. and they had called on God, mm. you know, the Bible says, he says, mm. oh, Ebenezer, mm. thus far had the Lord, Lord made us. Us. He was... He was a product mm. of a mother mm. and who a prayed. father mm. who had prayed him mm. into existence. Mm. And when he came into existence, mm. they ensured they loaned mm. him to the law. Mm. Awesome. And, they, and mm. that he um, it had prepared him for leaders, mm. for leadership. Mm. And he transformed Israel mm. and set the stone for the coming Messiah mm. because he led to the, mm. the, the bet mm. of what you call mm. the, the forerunner of the mm. Messiah. Because when David came and mm. began to fulfill the prophecies of the Messiah, he was a forerunner. Mm. So that 2,000 years later, 1,500 years later, mm. the Messiah was born. Mm. Everything David experienced was what the Messiah was going to experience. Mm. Awesome. Child of God, I mean, this is deep. Mm. And these are the matters that God is raising today. You mm. cannot downplay the influence of godly parents on mm. children. Our mm. brother said they will raise three bla blazers, pathfinders, mm. leaders. Mm. Look at even Timothy, the yes. influence of Lois and Eunice, Eunice on, him. on him. Timothy mm. grew to become a bishop mm. in the church in Ephesus, mm. a young man mm. who could become an elder and lead mm. a church mm. and direct them in the path of righteousness. Mm. Our country seemingly is at a crossroad. Mm. We need parents, we need mothers, we need fathers that will commit to prayer. Mm. It doesn't take God a crowd, mm. like you said. Yes. Just one man. one man. God is able to save with many and with yes, a few. Yes, exactly. Just one man exactly. can rewrite the narratives mm. and put our country mm. on the trajectory mm. of righteousness. Mm. Brother, you want yes, to Yes, yes. Permit me to say this. What, what our brother raised is critical. Uh, particularly concerning the, this nation and the Amadri system in this country. Yes, sir. Because these children who are called Amadri are born by parents and they are not raised by parents. Hmm. These children have not been comforted by their mother. Lacking they, the love of... They, they, they have not seen the love of their mother. And these children 
are hardened because they have not experienced love. And for this trouble that is going on in Nigeria to stop, one of the things we need to do as a nation yes, sir. is to stop their marjorie system. Hmm. And the Northerners, please listen to me. It is not for your own gain that you are leaving your children not trained, not raised. Hmm. It is for your own betterment to stop their marjorie system and re remain, born your children, let your children remain with you, and train Them. these children oh. so that they will become heroes. For this nation awesome. tomorrow. Awesome. God is bringing an issue concerning this matter which we need to pay attention about. Awesome. I think yes. there was an effort in the recent past, governors in the Northern State coming together to say, go back to your state, we want to house mm -hmm. you. I, there was, I remember following the news, there was an effort in that direction. I think in Kaduna State, the governor at a point wanted to just conclusively put an end to that. I don't know how far the effort went and what it has yielded, but what God is saying that is beyond giving back to children. You should commit to training them up. That is God's concept for producing giants and heroes in a nation. Lee Kuan Yu in Singapore was a man who also had this influence. Mm -hmm. And look at from a third world nation in a space of a decade mm. or thereabouts, mm -hmm. Singapore now became a first world nation. Yeah. Why? A man who has learned what it means to know God. Mm -hmm. Nigeria is not a hopeless case. At I all. keep saying it. It's not it's a hopeless not. case. Out of the ashes of our ruin, mm -hmm. God can raise a new nation mm -hmm. in righteousness. Mm -hmm. You are the one God is depending on. Mm -hmm. I am the one. If mm -hmm. all of us commit to it, there will be a new renaissance. Mm -hmm. Nigeria will sink. Hallelujah. Amen. At the other side of the divide. Amen. Conclusion. The purpose of God for every family is to prepare and have a most blissful world. Therefore, every member in a Christian family should continuously perform their Christian duties so as to exert Christian influence that will impact positively on society. Every man has a duty to do his bit. You shouldn't be found wanting. You shouldn't be found wanting. You know, people, you, you know, the, my, the agony in my heart. Sometimes I engage people. Mm. You are in a car, you are moving with people, and then some, somebody misbehaves. Mm. And I remember on occasions I'll tell somebody, you know, all of us, we sit in the quiet, in the comforts of our home, and we'll be pointing at Buhar. Mm. We're pointing at the president. Mm. This thing you have done, this mm. is how it starts. Mm. You just threw out trash from the car. Mm. You beat the traffic light. Mm. You do as you will. Mm. You know, it will not take Buhari to come to your house and do it. Mm. All of us together have a duty mm. to salvage yes. this nation. Play your role and I play my role. Mm. And God will help us Amen. as part of the Nigerian family. Amen. Food for thought. The whole world will become a paradise mm. if families will rise and embrace godliness. Mm. It is only righteousness that exalts a nation. Mm. Sin can only be a reproach. Let's take our memory verse. First Samuel chapter 20, 2 verse 20. Mm. Let's take it together. And then Eli then will bless Elkanah and his, his wife, wife and say, The, the Lord gives you descendants from this woman for, for the, the loan that, that was given to the Lord. The Lord. Then, then they, they will, will go, go to, to their, their own home. home. Oh, awesome. <laughs> you know, there's a matter that is jumping up in my spirit as we try to conclude. It's the tragedy of Samuel's experience, Prophet mm. Samuel. Mm. He was raised by Anna, a woman who was committed to intercession and prayers. Mm. But Samuel missed it, mm. that he could not raise children, raise children who children. would succeed him in righteousness. Mm. And you're out there. You grew up in the 50s, you grew up in the 40s, you grew up in the 70s. Mm. And the story was that Nigeria of those days we are blissful. Mm. Why? We had parents whom we are trained by CMS, mm. whom God used to raise you. Mm. What are you doing now? Mm. Are you committing to the children of this age, this generation, mm. this dispensation? Mm. Those ideals that were handed over to you. Mm. Do not make the mistake of someone. But we say that one generation shall allow the name of the Lord unto another. Mm. Are you giving them something mm. that they will allow unto the next generation? Mm. Just like you were given. Mm. That's the matter that the Holy Spirit mm. just raised. The essence is for us to become more like Jesus. Amen. Just before we conclude, a song I'd like to raise because God has said some things. Mm. To be like Jesus. To, to be, be like Jesus. Jesus. All I ask 
is to be like him all through life journey from earth to heaven all i ask is to be like him bro good just a word of prayer that will become more like him in our families just a short word of prayer our Father, we thank you for bringing your word to us. <clears throat> we pray that this word will save us. Amen. We pray that this word will bring a positive impact into our families. Amen. That will begin to be like Jesus. Amen. In our different families. Amen. We give you praise and glory. Amen. We magnify your name. Amen. As you cause us to determine to make a positive impact. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We thank God for today. God has mightily Amen. arrested our hearts, spoken to us. Like I always ask, the ball is in your court. What will be your response to these matters? We're grateful to our resource persons. Brogo, Amen. thank you for coming. Thank you for We trust that in your whole, whole family, God will continue to use you mightily. Amen. And in his church. Amen. Brogo Drew is always a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Thank you for those insightful, deep teachings mm -hmm. that the Lord brought to us via you. Mm -hmm. And we trust that the Lord will keep you and keep your family as well Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'll see you again on this station same time mm -hmm. next week. Until then, keep on living for Jesus. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Amen.